But what does God actually say about when we go through times of storm in our lives? Can he still provide a blessing from those storms for us today? <laughs> Hi, guys, it's good to see you. <laughs> We're going to explore what the Bible says, and we welcome Sarah Jane yeah, also to help us today. And uh, just tell us, what does the Bible say about storms in general? Well, yeah, look, there's a lot of, lot of different things in there about storms. Yeah. But last week when we were looking at these seven trumpets, we were looking at these storms at end time and these storms that were coming were the atheistic forces that were oh, just okay. sort, of, yep. sort of rattle the earth. Okay. And uh, in the midst of that, the trumpet sound, which is God's reassuring message that he's still in control and still going to bring things to an end. So St. John in Revelation 10 is not talking about storms of rain and hail and snow. No. No. He's talking about storms of strife that might come on this, this earth, okay. but of which God is in control of. <laughs> and so he's going to be working things out for the very okay. best. Sometimes it's physical strife. Sometimes it's relational strife. Sometimes it's domestic strife. Other times it's the strife of ideas, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, and there, there's many of those and sometimes uh, all of those at once okay. that we struggle with. Okay. And when we go through storms, what does the vision say? Well, the vision actually says, no matter what storm you're actually facing, oh. that God is the God who's in control. Okay. And, you know, we, we start here in Revelation 10 is where oh. we're, we're picking up today. And the very first thing we see is this mighty angel and mm. above it is this rainbow. Ah, oh, okay. Now, Heather was telling me a bit about the vision during the week. Yeah, mm. tell us some of the highlights for you, Heather. Well, this, yeah. uh, this angel is clothed and he's got this light right. on his face like mm -hmm. the sun. It's so bright. Mm -hmm. And his feet are like fire. And, and as, as Neil said, he's got this rainbow mm -hmm. around his head. And he's holding a little book. Mm -hmm. And he's standing with one foot on the sea yeah. and one foot on the land. Okay. And there are these seven thunders that you mm -hmm. mentioned and as he comes. And then he says that there'll be no more time. Okay. He actually makes the statement there'll be no more time well, that scary. because the seventh... <laughs> trumpet sounds, the okay. mystery of God, and it's finished. No more time. Got, no more time. That's the point of Yom Kippur, isn't it? Yes. No actually, more time. Yes, actually yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, today's the day. And Yom Kippur is kind of like the last spiritual day for the Jewish year, pretty well, roughly. It's, it's the day when they fast, yeah, yeah. they repent, and they come before God. Yeah. And they want to be written in the book of life. Okay, yeah. so you could say Revelation 10 sounds like it's just before the final judgment time. It actually does, time. actually. It just yeah, sounds yeah. Like, like it's that trumpet before yeah. Yom Kippur, doesn't it? Before okay. judgment. And then, then the angel has this little book and he says to John, yeah. eat the book, it'll be mm. sweet in your mouth, mm. but it's going to have such a bitter aftertaste mm -hmm. in your stomach. Yeah, this angel looks pretty spectacular, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's an amazing description, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, he's got this, his face is shining like, like the sun, the sun. In, its yeah, yeah. In, in its strength. Yes. His feet are like feet of fire. Yeah. What, like a super tanned Gold Coast surf guard? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, big, strong, yeah. handsome yeah. angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Sarah's here. Sarah, what, what about this rainbow? Imagine. Yeah, well, they talk about a rainbow, and that's really interesting. I mean, when we yeah. think of rainbows, we naturally yeah. think of Noah and the mm -hmm. flood, and when God completely wiped out the earth, mm. and um, at that time, just with his whole power, he just wiped out everything. Okay. But he sent this rainbow as a promise to us okay. that he's never going to do that again. Okay. And um, it actually says it in Genesis 9, verse 13, mm -hmm. I'll put my rainbow in the clouds to be a sign of my promise to the earth. Mm -hmm. And actually it reiterates it several times, mm -hmm. just in a number of verses, of God's promise to us. Okay, yep. okay so the rainbow is a rainbow of promise? Yes. yes. If you saw a Gold Coast surf guard striding towards you <laughs> with the sun behind his shoulders and a rainbow around his head, what would you do? <laughs> Sorry, that's what it sounds like on the vision. Yeah. Uh, swoon. Yeah. <laughs> I think there'd be a bit of that, yeah. Okay, so the point of it is really that um, well, God is a powerful handsome, kind, loving being. That's, That's the, absolutely powerful, right, James. Very, very yeah. and, and, you know, very like if, if we're faced with a disaster, if we've got our own storm mm -hmm. happening in life, mm -hmm. the, the things that we've got to do, you know, if we want to approach mm -hmm. God, we, we've got to, first of all, acknowledge that He exists. Mm -hmm. We've got to acknowledge that He's got the power to do something. We've got to recognize that God mm -hmm. is loving and that He actually loves mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And then we've actually got to do something really incredible. We've actually got to put our faith and our trust in Him. And when we do, mm -hmm. We can actually, as Heather said before, we can actually experience for ourselves mm. Him taking us in the palm of His hands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So if somebody wants to experience God's power, they need to acknowledge He exists. Yep. Yeah. 
that he's got the power to do something about it, yeah. that he is actually a God of love yeah. and that he's actually interested in them yeah. and that he will then, uh, then they've actually got to put their mm -hmm. trust in him. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't promise to take mm -hmm. the storm away from us, mm -hmm. but he actually promises to be there right in the midst of the storm itself. Okay, okay.